Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be my on-the-go everyday carry setup for May of 2021. And I have a couple different planners to show you, a Julio and a Moterm. So if you're interested in seeing um, how I set my notebook up for May, keep watching. Okay, so um, I saw a Risen U Monique post that these Moterm planners were restocked on Amazon. And I went ahead and picked one up. And this is what I was using um, for a little while. Um, I had ordered this Giglio and it wasn't in yet. So um, this was kind of a nice planner to hold me over until this one came. Because I really had my heart set on this one. However, I will tell you I ended up really loving this one. Got some papers in the big back pocket I need to take out. So it does have the big back pocket. And it does have four strings and a zipper over here and this pocket and several card slots same thing on this side and a pin loop and it has a clasp closure and it has two different um, button snaps so if you have your planner really chunky you can use this one or if you don't have it that chunky you can use the first one and this holds quite a few inserts. I think I had seven in here with plenty of room to spare. So this is a really nice planner. I think it was about $50. Um, but I will be using this in the future for sure. However, I could not wait to move into this Giglio. So I've had a Giglio before in personal rings and it was pre-loved. I bought it off of like the buy sell trade group. And since I've been in Traveler's Notebooks for a while, I finally broke down and saved up some money and purchased this one. So this is the Giglio Giramondo in the dark brown epo uh, Epoca leather. And you can see the closure for the elastic isn't on the spine, it's more on the back, which is fine with me. And oh gosh, guys, this leather. I know some people like lots of texture. The smoothness of this and the consistency does not bother me at all. And of course, it smells awesome. So, um, they do have a uh, an extra large. That's what it's called. A Giramondo extra large. I did not get the extra large. So, this one is pretty slim and really holds only four inserts comfort comfortably, in my opinion. Um, the extra large, I'm sure, would hold more. And then they have the deluxe, which I believe has the snap closure so depending on your needs you know you can or preferences whatever you want to get you could check those out but I did order this one directly from the site so I have this set up for May with my Coco Daisy kits which are called Tranquility I have my washi tape over here and a Simon clip and some sticky notes and then I just put this card over here for some decoration and then in the back, I have my pencil board and some money and some checks. And then I can show you my inserts. So my first insert has not changed. It is from The Paper and Cats on Etsy. It is a month on two pages for 2021. So you can see I've been using just very minimal decoration. And I don't mind that at all because I usually have a lot going on. So I like the room without a lot of decor. And then my next insert is a very slim insert. I only printed a few pages. This is from Annie Plans Printables. And I've been using this for my zone cleaning. So you can see a previous week I list out the zone and what week number we're on, what needs to be done, and then other tasks that need to be done daily go over there. Then my next insert is from Simple and Trendy Co. And this is what it looks like blank. I call this my weekly insert. Um, however, you'll see it's not really like a traditional week view because it doesn't have um, like days of the week. It just has the tracker and then a running to-do list. And she does not offer standard size inserts in her store. So if you look those up, you're not going to find them. However, I did message her. I found this in the B6 size and just ask her to make it standard size and she was willing to do that. So I'm sure she would be willing to do that for you guys too if you see other inserts that you like and want in standard size. And that was Simple and Trendy Co. So you can kind of see how I've been 
using it. And then this is the biggest change for me. Um, when I ordered this Motown planer, it actually came with like three or four inserts. And this was one of them. Um, it's just a plain kind of cream colored paper. And I don't know why, but I fell in love with it. Um, kind of the openness of being able to set it up however I wanted to. That's what I've done. So I jumped in a little bit early. I did create this tracker card. This kit came in the Coco Daisy kit, and I just used my Zig Clean Color Dot Markers to make the dots for tracking and some Planner Kate date dots, and then labeled these myself um, with an ink pen. And then when the May Planner Challenge from Coco Daisy is available, I'm going to put it on this page. And I have a two page spread ready for gratitude. And I've kind of had my May goals set on this post-it now. I am going to go back and decorate with Coco Daisy and I think that I'm going to film kind of like a goal plan with me video so that's why it's not filled out yet because I wanted to do that with you guys on camera. And then this is my um, self-care monthly reflection. I started doing this in January. I took the, I think there's eight different domains that I found online of self-care and I just rank myself on a scale of one to 10 in each of those areas. So I still need to do that. Um, this I just added because it's pretty. I did some stamp testing on some paper and just taped that in as a reference. And then I used the big notepad on this week for meal planning. I just taped it in there with double-sided tape and then I jump into the daily planning for this corresponding week. So I've just been doing a day on one page. And I really like having all the room um, for to-do lists and gratitude and to add pictures. And then this little bookmark I made with two of the kit cards. So I just, just two of them like taped together and then a tag added so it marks your page this way, just slips down. So I'll be doing that daily planning for the rest of May in here. I've kind of jumped into my May stickers already um, and I decided to add this dash line down here so that I can add my scripture, I think is what I was going to put down here. I wanted that all on one page because I have my gratitude page set up, um, yeah, wherever it is at the beginning, right there. So I don't need that room there for gratitude. I can use it for something else. And then my last insert is from the Paper and Cats, and it is just a lined notebook that has page numbers at the bottom, and then it has an index for you to list what is on that page. So page one would be my passwords, Two is payroll information and so on. Um, let me find a page. Well, I will show you this because it's been very helpful. I um, don't know where I want to jump in here. Okay, so I like having this because, um, you know, sometimes things just pop into your brain and you need to get them out, but you don't necessarily want to write them on your daily pages. So this notebook goes from month to month with me and I'll just keep it in here till it's full. But I have all the John Grisham novels and I'm reading through them, check them off when I'm done. I put this down, this is like um, what I need to go through in my mind when I'm setting down to plan. So I need to check my husband's on-call schedule, his bowling schedule, reference my monthly, check the school calendar, all of those things. So it's nice to have this to kind of prompt my brain. And then this is what I wanted to show you. I did print this off from Annie Plans Printables and I use it for my health and family's health tracking. So I have this side and then I just kind of note what the colors mean. And then I'm ready for the second half of the year on that page. And the rest is just kind of notes, personal notes, but this is what a blank page looks like. So those are my four inserts 
for May and the end of my setup. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I did want to show you this product. These are the zippered sticker pockets. Um, Coco Daisy Christine has had these made with the polka dots and this month is this clear and white grid pattern. So I have all my stickers ready to go. Um, I've just been grabbing these two things. I've really slimmed down on what I carry with me um, in my tote bag to and from work and that sort of thing. So this is pretty much all that I grab. And this is for May 2021. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions about Coco Daisy kits, um, that sort of thing, inserts, anything at all, let me know. Thanks for watching and happy planning.